Hello everybody, once again this is Jeff uh, from daytradewarrior.com chat room. Uh, you can uh, follow me uh, at Income Traders, I-N-C-O-M-E-T-R-A-D-E-R-Z on Stock Twits, Twitter, and Instagram uh, for a lot of my trade ideas and uh, things that I'm looking at. Now, I'm making this video today because I've received a ton of requests regarding the scanners that we use in uh, the daytradewarrior.com chat room. I'm a moderator there and uh, we are very uh, focused on trading off of uh, scanner alerts that we receive in chat, whether it be for uh, volume movers or uh, bottom bounce or top reversal type trades. And I'm going to talk to you about a couple of scanners today um, and try to answer some of the questions I've had. Uh, with regard to those. Um, if you look at the screen you'll see the different scanners that I monitor on a daily basis for uh, trade opportunities, trade ideas. Now this is a Trade Ideas Pro setup. Uh, I have a subscription with them and I've been using them for quite a while now. And you'll find that uh, Ross, the head trader uh, and Day Trade Warrior um, at the Day Trade Warrior uh, chat room is also looking at these uh, same scanners. Um, a lot of these are uh, his configuration, but a few are mine, and I'm going to talk about those uh, now. The first one I want to mention is the Unusual Print Scanner. And so in Trade Ideas, there is uh, an alert setting that you can have filter alerts for unusual trades, or excuse me, unusual prints. Uh, and what that means is it's what, what it's doing is it's tracking the last three minutes worth of volume uh, in real time and whenever there is a spike in volume outside of the previous three minutes uh, it'll trigger an alert along with some other uh, proprietary settings that I use to help filter that. Uh, what this scanner is good for is it can uh, it can proceed news uh, alerts. Now in uh, Day Trade Warrior uh, chat room we use uh, Benzinga Audio and a few other news sources for real time and breaking news uh, from the floor uh, and other places. And a lot of times before that news comes out over the wire, uh, it'll alert on my unusual print scanner. And what it does is it tracks, uh, like I said, uh, unusual uh, printing and volume within a certain period of time, along with some other things. And it can give you a heads up on something that's moving from insider buying or people on the floor that are buying. Uh, but it hasn't released news yet that uh, the rest of the retail investing world can can act on. So it gives you maybe you know a minute, two minute uh, head start on potential trade ideas. Uh, so that's the unusual print scanner, and I use that uh, to track. Like I said I use that to track things that are moving suddenly, and a lot of times when they have these huge volume spikes, there will be. Um, uh, news following shortly after to confirm the move. So basically uh, the filters that I have set up on here um, on the columns uh, show us price, uh, you know, relative volume, change in the dollars and the float. I always like to know the float size of something I'm trading uh, because I want to know its potential to move and I don't like trading super huge, you know, blue chip, massive float stocks, you know, that takes millions and millions of shares to move. So I definitely screen by float. And quality, you'll notice quality here. Um, in this case, quality applies to the quality of the alert uh, based on the settings that you've given it. So uh, for the example, this last alert on WUBA at 1236, the quality was 10. That means that the volume at that time was trading 10 times higher than it was during the previous three minutes uh, that were being monitored. And so that's all that shows. And uh, like I said, it's good for uh, identifying potential news plays before the news actually hits. Gives you an idea of what's moving and then you know a few minutes later you find out why. And if you like the setup, if you like the volatility, the price action and the volume, then you might have taken a trade already and had a good head start into a trade that was uh, that turns out to be a good news play. The other two scanners, the main ones that I trade from are my uh, top reversal and bottom bounce scanner. Um, these are uh, two that uh, we 
give a lot of focus to and attention in the uh, chat room. Um, they have been fine-tuned over, uh, it's got to be over two years now, by now, uh, to provide high probability winning trade alerts. And uh, the basis behind this is to find uh, stocks that are selling off with a certain amount of volume and a certain dollar change over a certain period of time. And they also track uh, the amount of distance uh, from VWAP, uh, the volume weighted average price uh, in that time frame. So for example, uh, on uh, ROK, the last alert was at 1144. These columns that I have up here, just give me a quick snapshot of uh, what the chart might look like, what the stock might look like, what the price action might look like. Um, the price of ROK at the time of this alert was 112.31. Uh, so I have a custom filter set up here to display the uh, distance from VWAP at the time of the alert. Now, if you watched my other video on bottom bounce and top reversals, uh, I go over why I use VWAP and how I use VWAP to determine my risk reward. Uh, you know, my potential target and all my trades. So the U0 is just a custom formula for VWAP, the change in VWAP uh, from at the time of the alert. The dollar change uh, 30 is the 30 minute change in time. So the price movement over the last 30 minutes at the time of the alert. So it also gives you a potential of how big the sell off is and may give you some idea of what your potential gain is on that trade. I also like to see the spreads <clears throat> the uh, spread in pennies here. Um, I don't like trading stocks with huge spreads. I don't like trading stocks that, uh, you know, uh, you get movement on the ask, but the bid never comes up and just all kinds of crazy things because it's hard to place a stop when you're in a trade if the spreads are too big. So spreads are part of my filter. Um, and this just gives me a quick idea at the time of the alert when everything is selling off on above average relative volume, uh, what the spreads are looking like. And uh, relative volume is one of my other filters that I use. I set a certain minimum relative volume because I don't want to trade anything that is not trading above average volume. Anything less than that can be a fake alert or a false alert. The dollar change, uh, this is the change from the close. And it is just giving you an idea of where in the day the stock is at compared to previous day. Uh, the five minute down candles here, consecutive candles. Um, this is also one of the filters I set uh, in my uh, scanner and it shows uh, how many consecutive five minute candles closed red. And so if you get a ton of, you know, red closing candles and other conditions that, uh, you know, create oversold conditions, your opportunity for a bounce might be a little higher than uh, average. And that's what we look for. The total volume on the day, I absolutely do not like trading low volume stocks. Uh, it's just, it's too hard for me to take the size of, in a trade that I want to take if something's only traded 100,000 shares on the day because I'm unable to, you know, if I want to buy two or 3,000 shares of something, I don't want to be the reason that it moves 20 cents because I've traded 10% of the entire daily volume. So for my risk reward, uh, you know, ratios and the, uh, the, the volume minimums that I need to see are about 500,000 um, traded on the day. Now, I have another uh, filter parameter set to limit stocks with an average 10 day volume below a certain amount, but I do not get alerts on this scanner unless there has been 500,000 shares or more traded in a day. And so we usually don't get trades very often before the 15 minute opening range or before 9.45 uh, in the morning, which is fine. Uh, you know, we want that opening range to be established. And then once the direction is set, um, it's a lot easier to, to pick up a uh, potential bounce or top reversal. And like I said, the 10 day average volume can be seen here. None of these are really, here's one below 500,000. Um, none of these are too far below 500,000. Most of them are a lot more. Here's one that's only 370,000. Um, but there's a minimum set on that. So we look for high volume stocks that are trading above their average volume, or higher, uh, higher than average relative volume, and things that have made a quick move to the downside 
creating certain oversold conditions. And one of the filters I use on here is a, uh, an alert for a specific chart pattern that I like to see on these bounce reversals. And also the same thing on the top reversal. The top reversal scanner is basically a flip um, with one change. Uh, I definitely have the top reversal scanner uh, alert trades that are over a higher amount from VWAP than the bottom bounce scanner. I believe that in this market, there are more long bias traders and therefore it is a lot harder to get resolution on a short trade in a bull market. So I only look for the most extreme, extreme overbought conditions on a reversal. And uh, I filtered that out, um, you know, by using the VWAP and uh, also certain price changes within a certain amount of time. So we only get the best of the best of the alerts. Uh, you know, if we get too many alerts in a day, too many looks, uh, might cause over trading, might cause a lot of fake outs. So we, uh, over the years, have refined this to be as uh, high probability as possible to only produce the alerts which will likely give us the resolution we want. And uh, today alone, there were the first two trades that alerted off the bottom bound scanner that I took were over a point each. Uh, one of them, SLXP, moved up uh, two or three points from the alert, never touching the entry, uh, and closed above it. So. There are a ton of opportunities to make a ton of money using these scanners. If you know how to use them, you know what they screen for, and you know how to use them the right way. Now, I uh, have these scanners for sale. Uh, they are available in the uh, daytradewarrior.com store. If uh, you're a Trade Ideas subscriber and you're interested in this strategy, which again, I outline in another one of uh, the YouTube videos that you can find in my link or my profile, um, you can purchase these scanners and I will personally spend uh, as much time as it takes to uh, teach you how to use them, teach you what to look for, and uh, teach you how to profit from them. They, uh, like I said, are highly refined and have been tweaked over year, years and years and uh, often re result in providing high probability uh, trades that move a half point or more. Now, it's not to say it's 100%, but these are back tested. And if you know how to manage your risk, which is one of the things I'll show you how to do if you purchase these, um, if you know how to manage your risk, then you will definitely make more money than you will ever lose using these scanners. Some of the other scanners you can see here on the screen, we have uh, surging up and surging down scanner. These are Ross's creations and they track uh, real time volume and uh, they give us an idea of things that are moving up on volume, things that are moving down on volume. And here you'll see a multi-strategy window in the middle uh, that will show uh, various other types of reversals and chart setups. Very, uh, we're a group of chart-based and pattern-based traders, so we like to see um, scans that provide alerts that uh, look for the types of setups that uh, we like to trade. And this is because uh, we don't uh, have the ability to look at all the thousands and thousands of stocks trading in real time. The scanner makes it uh, very, very easy to do that, and that's very helpful. Uh, I also have a swing scan uh, that I use for my options plays. Now, this is a combination of the gaffer scanner, which you see in the bottom left corner here. Uh, it shows those gap plays with certain other conditions that I look for before I take a swing position. Um, and uh, I do my swing trades with options and they're almost always based off of uh, gaps or dead cat bounces. You can find that strategy as well in the uh, uh, YouTube video section. It's one of the other videos I did. It kind of explains how I pick my options trades and uh, I've had good success with those lately. So I just wanted to go over and answer the questions about uh, what these symbols mean and what these scanners look for and how uh, you can learn to use them uh, to become profitable. And like I said, these are available for sale uh, in the stock scanner store. Uh, if you're not a member of uh, daytradewarrior.com, uh, the chat room, we have these scanners up on a screen share along with uh, you know, real-time charts and we trade real-time with uh, live audio on a microphone and live screen share. So you can see exactly what we're looking at. Uh, we talk you through trades. And once you learn this strategy, you really don't even need uh, any of that 
Uh, once you learn how to trade bottom mounts and top reversals, uh, doesn't require an alert from a guru or anything like that. It's something that you can do on your own and uh, you can find these trades and, and be a profitable trader. It's not that difficult. It's just knowing how to use them and how to manage your risk that is most critical. So that concludes my brief uh, summary and hopefully I answered your questions on these scanners uh, from Trade Ideas. I'll post some links down in the uh, comment section or the description area for uh, where you can find these scanners at and a little bit more information. And if you have any questions, you can contact me on Twitter, Instagram, or StockTwits at Income Traders, I N C O M E T R A D E R Z. Or you can just leave a comment down in the YouTube section and I check it all the time. So I will be able to find uh, your question down there. Uh, other than that, uh, that concludes uh, this brief tutorial. Thanks for listening.